Hello and welcome. It is Saturday, it is April 11th, 2020 and um, I had a little surprise in my mailbox today and I'm really really pleased because um, a while ago I ordered a book and I was inspired to order this book by a newsletter that I have subscribed to. It's brainpickings.org and I can only recommend that to you if you love words, if you love literature, if you love poetry, even music. Um, it's absolutely amazing and um, this book was introduced there and I fell in love with it immediately I knew I have to I have to have it and today it finally arrived so what I want to share with you today is the white cat and the monk and um, it is uh, the monk in this poem he leads a very very simple life and he studies his books late into the evenings searching for meaning and um, his cat Pangua leads a simple life too, chasing his prey in the darkness as night turns to dawn. The question is, can each find what they seek? And The Wet Cat and the Monk is a, the retelling of an old Irish poem called Pangor Ban. I hope I pronounced that correctly. And with Joe Ellen Bogart's simple and elegant narrative and Sidney Smith's classically inspired images, this is, this story just plays, pays tribute to the wisdom of animals and the wonders of the natural world and I'm really happy that I can share this with you today. So there we go, the white cat and the monk. And I'm reading it like this today because I just want to share the beautiful illustrations of this book with you and um, because that's what I really fell in love with immediately when I first saw this. I, monk and scholar, share my room with my white cat, Pangua. By candle's light, late into the night, we work each at a special trade. Far more than any fame, I enjoy the peaceful pursuit of knowledge. I treasure the wealth to be found in my books. Pangua has his own pursuit, his game of chase and catch. The silent hunter, he sits and stares at the wall. He studies the hole that leads to the mouse's home. My own eyes older, less bright than his. Study my manuscript, hunting for meaning. Each page is a challenge. Pango does not disturb me at my work, and I don't disturb him at his. We are each content with all we need to entertain us. Ours is a happy tale. When a mouse appears, Pango snares it, snares it with his needle claws. He feels joy at catching his prey. I feel joy as I find, at last, the answer to my puzzle. In our tiny home, Pango finds his mouse. And I find light in the darkness. So I hope you enjoyed this little story with me. And the I definitely enjoyed the story very much. And um, I do hope I will see you again here tomorrow. So stay home, stay safe and stay healthy. Take care. Bye bye.